Did you know that your liver is the largest solid organ inside your body? This football-sized powerhouse helps keep you alive and healthy. As you move throughout your day, it works hard to detoxify your blood, help with digestion, and restore your energy levels. We can't live without it. Your liver also plays an important role in metabolizing medications. But some medications can directly damage this vital organ in what's known as drug-induced liver injury, DILI. Here, we'll discuss 10 medications that could potentially harm your liver, what symptoms to look out for, and what you can do to prevent liver toxicity, hepatotoxicity. One, Tylenol Tylenol, acetaminophen, is a common over-the-counter OTC pain reliever and fever reducer. It's not toxic to the liver when it's taken occasionally and within recommended dosages. However, large doses and or chronic use can cause liver damage. In fact, just one large dose of Tylenol can cause liver damage. This is called Tylenol overdose, which is a medical emergency requiring immediate attention. You should call Poison Control at 1-800-222-1222 or go to the nearest emergency room if you suspect you have taken too much Tylenol. Tylenol can also cause liver damage if it's taken too frequently, especially over a prolonged period of time. This concern is more relevant among people who have a serious illness, alcohol use disorder, or pre-existing liver issues. You can lower the risk of liver problems related to Tylenol in the following ways. Don't take more than the maximum recommended amount, 4,000 milligrams per day. Avoid drinking alcohol while taking Tylenol. Check to see if any of your OTC or prescription pain medications contain acetaminophen, so you can avoid accidentally taking it from multiple sources. Keep in mind that Tylenol is also found in many OTC cold and flu products. Two, antibiotics like Augmentin Augmentin, Amoxicillin clavulinate is a common antibiotic for respiratory, ear, and skin infections. It's the antibiotic that's most likely to cause liver injury, though it's not a very common side effect overall. Liver injury typically occurs within a few days to eight weeks after starting treatment with Augmentin. This is more likely to affect men, older adults, and people who have taken Augmentin multiple times in a row. Thankfully, the damage is usually reversible and does not cause lasting effects. What to read next? Popular stories this week. Do these detox drinks for liver health really work? A physician explains eight foods that are bad for your liver and why. What are elevated liver enzymes? Causes, symptoms, and tests. What are the main causes of jaundice? Three, NSAIDs, like diclofenac, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. NSAIDs are commonly taken for pain, inflammation, and fever. Some are available OTC, but others, like oral, Diclofenac, Cataflam, are available by prescription only. Diclofenac is one of the most likely NSAIDs to cause liver injury. In many cases, the damage is significant enough to cause elevated liver function tests, LFTs, but not enough to cause symptoms. LFTs measure liver enzymes, proteins, and increased numbers point to possible liver injury. These numbers are collected by your healthcare provider through blood tests. Serious liver damage is more rare, but the risk is higher for women and with larger doses and or long-term use, more than four weeks. Keep in mind, diclofenac also comes in topical forms, such as gels, creams, and patches. The risk of liver injury is lower with topical versions since a much smaller amount is absorbed into your body. Four, amiodarone. Amiodarone, passeroni, is a medication that's used to treat abnormal heart rhythms. Increases in LFTs happen in up to 50% of people taking amiodarone on a long-term basis, but this usually doesn't cause serious health problems. In some cases, though, amiodarone can cause more substantial liver injury. This is estimated to affect up to 1% of people taking the medication. The FDA issued a boxed warning, its most serious medication warning about this risk. Liver injury related to amiodarone is more common in people who take the medication at higher doses and for long periods of time. Thankfully, this risk can be monitored. You'll likely have regular LFTs while taking amiodarone to make sure your treatment doesn't need to be adjusted. Five, allopurinol allopurinol, xyloprim, is a medication that's used to prevent gout flares. Some people also take it to prevent certain kinds of kidney stones. And more rarely, people with cancer take it to prevent a complication called tumor lysis syndrome. Allopurinol can cause minor reversible increases in LFTs in up to 6% of people who take it. This usually does not lead to any long-term problems. Less often, 
allopurinol can cause liver problems as part of a broader condition called drug reaction with eosinophilia and systemic symptoms, dress syndrome. Dress syndrome is a reaction to medication that also causes fever, rash, and abnormal blood tests, among other symptoms. Allopurinol is also associated with severe skin reactions, such as Stevens-Johnson syndrome, SJS, and toxic epidermal necrolysis, 10. And these conditions can also harm your liver. 6. Anti-seizure medications like phenytoin anti-seizure medications. Top many lists as potential causes of liver injury. Phenytoin, dilantin, is one of the most common causes of dilate and liver failure. But the occurrence of liver damage related to the medication is still pretty rare overall. It happens in less than 1 in 1,000 people taking phenytoin.